So for today's lab, we will be going over the Epic on Fire Sandbox. Epic is one of the largest EHR vendors. As part of the Argonaut project, they are making a commitment to support Fire so that apps can be built to access healthcare data from health systems that utilize Epic. Some of the learning goals for this lab include getting familiar with the Epic on Fire Sandbox. You will also review some new Fire resources and how they can be used to answer some clinically relevant questions. And finally, you'll get some practice on how to use Fire Query parameters. So for the first part, we'll be using an Epic Sandbox in partnership with the U.S. Core Data for Interoperability. You can see here that we have many different resources that we can utilize, such as laboratory medications problems. First, you want to click Sign Up in order to create an account. So here you'll be, you'll be brought to the Sign Up screen where you just enter in any of the relevant information. You'll receive an email then you can access the Sandbox environment. Click Login to access the Sandbox environment with your credentials. Now with your credentials, go to the API specifications. You can see here that we have mul multiple different types of resources that we can trial out, such as Care Plan, Condition Read. But however, first we want to take a look at what test patients are available to us. So here's a list of the different test patients, and you can see how there's different resources associated for each of the different test patients. Some test patients don't have all the, all the different resources. Now let's go back to the API specifications. In this case, we want to look up a condition search for our specific patient. We want to see what types of different conditions this patient has encountered throughout their lifetime. So here you can see the different parameters that we can indicate when creating our FARA query. So let's give it a try. So here you'll be pre-populated with a sample patient and the clinical status. So in this instance, we have both active, inactive, and resolved. So let's see what the response yields us. You can see that it provides around seven conditions that this patient have in the active, inactive, and resolved state. So in this case, this patient has essential hypertension, as well as another condition such as tobacco use as well. So let's go back up and let's see if we could find out all the conditions that have been already resolved. So if we go to the raw fire query, you can see that the clinical status has all these three different elements. We can use this field to then remove the active and inactive states. So let's just keep result. And then you can see how the query has automatically updated. So let's give it a try. And now you can see that we have a total of three different results. So the some of the problem conditions that have been resolved for this patient include tobacco use as well as pneumonia. So you can see also that you can basically see the duration of how long the patient has had pneumonia for. Let's go back to the API specifications and now let's look at some observation search. So again, in observation search, it utilizes loin codes. So here we'll try out retrieving all the patient's vital signs information. So you can see from the response, we have multiple different types of vital signs, such as blood pressure, uh, weight, height, and heart rate. So here you can explore the different types of values. And you can see here the loin code information we want to now let's see if we could retrieve only the temperature information. So we retrieve the loin code, enter it in the code, and let's get rid of the vital signs category. And now when we try it out, you could see in our raw query that we have specified only to retrieve temperature data. So let's give it a try. And we could see that we only have now 16 results, and all the results include temperature data.
So now let's say we want to determine the date of when this patient has specific vital signs. Unfortunately, this sandbox doesn't provide that ability to do that. So let's go to the open.epic.com and we'll go on the observation tab. So what we could do is we'll have the code, the same loading code as for temperature, but we'll add a date parameter to query, provide us only results on August 25th of uh, 2015. So now we'll get a fire response back from the server indicating that all the temperature data for that specific date. And you can see that our results have that specific date. And you can see here on the specific date that the patient had a temperature of 36.7 degrees Celsius. Here are some helpful links that you could utilize for this lab. And for this lab, you'll use these two sandbox environments to answer the homework questions. They'll require you to explore the different types of resources and how to manipulate the queries.